हेलो एंड वेलकम नमस्कार जेड टेस्ट ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सिंगल मीन टू टेल टेस्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ केस ऑफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी वी ऑलरेडी रेड एंड डिस्कस द ओरिजिनल केस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द सेम डेटा बट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द रेंज ऑफ एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑब्जर्व वैल्यू ऑफ जेड स्टैटिस्टिक सो लेट्स go through the data rapidly population mean is 59 kg that is the average weight of policy holders of 25 years of age group population standard deviation 5 kg they have taken a sample of 10000 policies yes now at days with the help of computers it is possible to take this much large sample so please bring yourself out of the age old concepts of large samples of size 50 100 200 250 yes now we are in computer era and it is possible to have this much large sample where there are very very large populations of millions or multi millions units which can be really say taken as infinite populations and the sample mean that is the average weight of the policy holders include, included in this sample comes to 58.1 kg that is x bar level of significance they have decided 1% that means alpha is 0.01 1 divided by 100 since this is two tail test because one argument is increase in weight of 25 years of age group because of consumption of fast food alcohol etc increase in consumption another argument of the sales force of the particular Uh, insurance company is that this age group has become very much conscious about their say quality of life gymming exercising and use of good food they can observe in the market this factor so they believe that the weight of this age group must have gone down so there are two arguments but the common thing is the weight is now not 59 kg according to global argument it must have increased according to the argument of the sales force of the company it must have decreased so we have two alternatives if there is any change in 59 it may have gone down for this particular country or policy holders of this particular insurance company or it may have gone up according to the global trend so we have taken or rather we need to take this as two tail test since this is two tail test we need to split the alpha value 0.01 divided by 2 0.005 that help us to decide the critical value to find the critical value from the chart which i have already discussed in the previous lecture and the critical value of z comes to 2.576 since this is two tail test it is positive or negative on the basis of this we can have the acceptance limits limits for acceptance of z calculated or rather z observed and lower limit is minus 2.576 upper limit is plus 2.576 the interpretation of these two limits is if the calculated value of z calculated value of z on the basis of sample mean population mean standard deviation and sample size comes to less than minus 2.576 the null hypothesis should be rejected or if it comes to greater than positive 5 2.576 then also we have to reject the null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is always of no change so the null hypothesis is the average weight is still 59 kg that is unchanged both the arguments are not acceptable that kind of conclusion should be there so ho mu is 59 but if we reject this hypothesis what should be our conclusion we should have an alternative hypothesis or alternative conclusion right from the beginning so if we have to reject the null hypothesis at the end of the statistical analysis we can conclude that the average weight is now not 59 kg first conclusion will be not 59 then it will be the role so say another task of the decision maker what to conclude not 59 means whether it has decreased or increased that is another thing okay so h a is mu not equal to 59 this 
is the say sketch of the diagram of normal curve area under normal curve you can see that z is zero because at this point sample mean and population mean both are equal and hence the value calculated value of z comes to zero these are the critical values lower limit and upper limit here this is z equals to minus 2.576 z equals to plus 2.576 if the calculated value or observed value of z comes within this range, we have to accept the null hypothesis that there is no change in value. But if the calculated or observed value of z is less than this critical value, then we have to reject. The z calculated or z observed falls in the rejection region in these two cases and we have to reject the null hypothesis. So first of all, let's calculate the value of z. Z is sample mean 58.1 minus population mean 59 divided by standard deviation 5 divided by under root sample size. So it is 58.1 minus 59 upon 5 by 100. So it is minus 0.9 upon 0 0.05. 0 0.05 means something like multiplying by 20. So z comes to minus 18 yes this is exceptionally greater but it is not impossible everything is dependent on the size of the sample in the era of computer we are able to draw a sample of this much larger size which is a, almost equal to a population in past when there was no computer support all these things were not feasible rather there were possible but the exercise were becoming too much tedious so it was a trend to take samples and the population were also say not that much larger though it was believed that the population is infinite but population of say policy holders of particular age group of any insurance company were also made up of some thousand or say some 10,000 or 100,000 policies only. So, without the help of computer, it was not feasible to take samples beyond 100, 200, say 400, 500. But now it is possible. So, we are taking and hence the effect on calculated value can also be seen. Okay. Z comes to minus 18. Where can be the minus 18 in this chart? It is less than 2.576. So Z equals to minus 18 can fall here somewhere. That means calculated value or observed value of Z falls in the rejection region. Yes. In the rejection region. So, we reject the null hypothesis and what can be our conclusion? The average weight is now not 59 kilograms. Yes. The stage after this statistical conclusion is conclusion by the decision maker or by the researchers. That is decision making stage. That is outside the purview of our all discussions based on statistical analysis. But if we say, say a few words about that, the researchers have an open option to take this sample mean as the new point estimate of the population and they can say go for taking another sample and then for calculating the mean of that another sample or samples and if every time the or most of the time if mean comes to less than 59 they can go for say Arriving at a new conclusion that now the mean weight is less than 59. 
or they can directly take this as the new point estimate of the population and they can start to believe that the average weight of the policy holders of 25 years of age group is 58.1 kg but in say in case of testing of hypothesis this is the last point to arrive at the conclusion on the basis of the method we have adopted for that particular purpose that's it thank you very much